Have you been bombarded with news and memes about the Suez Canal in the last few days and want to learn more? Then this video is for you. Hello YouTube and welcome back to my channel. My name is Cody and you've probably already heard about the giant cargo ship that was blocking the Suez Canal, one of the most vital trade routes in the entire world. This blockage led to delays in all kinds of products as hundreds of ships piled up and were unable to pass. In this video, I wanted to talk about why the Suez Canal is so important and how this blockage affected global trade. Before we get into to it. If you're interested in learning valuable financial advice that will one day make you rich, then don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. I'm approaching 100 subscribers and I have a very special video planned and I would really appreciate your support in getting there. The Suez Canal is an artificial waterway in Egypt that connects the Red Sea to the Mediterranean Sea and was built by French engineers in 1869. It separates the continents of Africa and Asia and is one of the most heavily trafficked shipping routes in the entire world with an average of $3 billion worth of cargo passing through it every single day. Before the canal was built, ships traveling from India in Asia had to go around Africa if they wanted to deliver goods to Europe, which was a costly and dangerous journey that usually took months. For example, if a ship wanted to go from Italy to India, it could go through the Suez Canal and take a route that was only 4,400 nautical miles, or it could go around Africa and travel 10,500 nautical miles. It serves as a vital portal between the eastern and western hemispheres, with about one-tenth of global trade passing through the Suez Canal. The completion of the Suez gave boats a much more direct route between the two continents and revolutionized world trade by allowing foreign goods to be shipped faster and cheaper and in turn passing those savings on to consumers. It's also been especially useful for delivering essential goods throughout the world during the pandemic. So the Suez is clearly a critical choke point in the world economy, a weakness that was revealed when the cargo ship Ever Given ran aground on March 23rd at about 8 a.m. The ship was traveling from Malaysia to the Netherlands when it encountered a dust storm that both limited visibility and pushed the ship towards the edge of the canal until it hit land and became wedged horizontally, blocking any traffic from passing. Thankfully, no one was hurt, but officials quickly recognized the economic fallout that this accident would have as hundreds of cargo ships piled up and started to wait at the mouth of the canal to gain access. They started to come up with a plan to free the ship, which wasn't gonna be easy because it weighed 200,000 tons and was more than 1,300 feet long. Land teams were deployed with heavy construction equipment to start digging out the area where the ship had struck the wall and a fleet of tugboats was hooked up to the Ever Given to try to pull it out but it looked like the process was gonna be long and strenuous. Meanwhile, the economic impact was getting worse and worse. International shipping lines that were already stretched thin by the pandemic were facing yet another hurdle. There were thousands of products that were affected by the blockage, but there are two specific ones that I want to highlight, oil and semiconductors. Crude oil traveling by sea from the Middle East was delayed on its way to Europe, and oil prices jumped Friday amid speculation that it could take weeks to dislodge the ship, and investors tried to play the accident to make some money. Semiconductors were another product that encountered major delays, mostly because there's only a few companies in the world that have the technological capabilities necessary to manufacture them. Several of these companies are in Asia and rely on trade by sea to deliver their products to Europe and the Americas. There's already been a huge shortage of semiconductors during the pandemic. It's so bad that many automakers who are designing new high-tech vehicles have had to put their plans on hold, but the Suez blockage made the shortage even worse. Both of these products affect the lives of almost every single person on the planet every day, and it's clear why a blockage of one of the most important trade routes would be so damaging. Luckily for everyone involved, the delay didn't last for more than a week. The ship's owners, the maritime trade firm Evergreen, employed two different aquatic rescue companies that specialize in fixing these types of accidents. The ship was finally freed on Monday, March 29th, using a combination of powerful tugboats and land crews that excavated the mud and sand away from the ship's bow. The rescue teams were also aided by good weather as a full moon brought high tides and further loosened the ship. Egyptian authorities have announced that 113 of the 420 backlog vessels will be cleared to travel through the canal on Tuesday. Even though the ship is free and the canal is open again, there are still a few problems to consider. On Monday, shipping giant Maersk tweeted that further delays should be expected as the giant cluster of ships that was waiting at the mouth of the canal will now cause delays at ports all across the world, and the next few weeks will be a headache for port officials and shipping companies. The entire situation has also brought another problem to light, the vulnerability of critical global trade checkpoints. Whether it be sea, land, or air, there are hundreds of areas 
ideas that are critical for the well-being of the global economy, and they're often overlooked until it's too late. A gust of wind was all it took to drive the Ever Given off course and close the Suez for a week, costing the world economy an estimated $9 billion every day. Humans have managed to overcome many natural boundaries and connect the world for safer and more efficient travel, but many of these passes haven't evolved with our modern technology and are kind of stuck in the past. It takes an accident like this to see how important these areas truly are. The international shipping industry generates about $4 trillion every year and is a vital piece of the world economy as about 80% of global trade by volume occurs at sea. But I personally never realized how important oceanic trade is to the world economy. Events like this truly reveal the complex network of people, places, and machines that help bring goods to you in a timely and cheap manner. Hopefully this incident has increased awareness and will lead to improvements in the ways we conduct business by sea. And that's all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this topic and learned something new about a story that's been dominating the headlines recently. I'm going to include the sources I used in the description below so you could go find out more for yourself if you want to. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe. I appreciate every single one of you and I will see you guys again very soon.